question I had was about um, you know the hadith that I mentioned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, he loves beauty he is beauty and then it's kind of a conflict or a conflicting message that we shouldn't emphasize our beauty so how can we balance that and um, as my slides uh, as I, I referenced in the slides the point of um, you know be uh, focusing or or uh, you know, the pursuit of beautification should really be about the inward, right? We want to focus on inward beautification. And that doesn't mean, of course, that we don't take care of our exterior. The Prophet ﷺ was known, if you study his sirah, for always looking the best. Even though he had very little, he took great care to present himself in the most beautiful way that, you know, meant uh, oiling, uh, using oil, using uh, perfume, um, always having, you know, again, just the best uh, presentation, hygiene, of course, where did we learn how to do all of these things was from his sunnah. So all of that is to say that, if, yes, we're permitted to um, spend time Time beautifying ourselves and even within our marriages we should right this should be a balanced um, reciprocated thing between both the husband and the wife however if that's all you do or that's your primary focus and you place so much of your value on beautification this is where there's a problem and in this society this is the toxic messaging that we're getting as women that you have to be a certain size your hair has to look a certain way your skin has to look a certain way your eye color you should be at the gym every day and you see a lot of women i was telling um Actually, the other day, my son and I drove to the supermarket early because we had to get milk, and it was after Fajr. And, you know, we, alhamdulillah, had prayed, and then we stayed awake. So when we left to go get milk, it was still, you know, dark outside somewhat. And so I just, I saw a bunch of people on the street running. There were a lot of activity at, at this time, right? It's a very blessed time, Fajr. But you could see that a lot of the people were up doing what? They were out there focusing on, right, the exterior. Uh, so they were doing their exercise, and then I saw one guy, he was uh, putting something in the trunk of his car, and when he came out, he looked like he had just come from the gym. You know, he just kind of had that gym look. He looked sweaty, red. <laughs> okay, so I was like, he must have just come from the gym. And I said, SubhanAllah, and I told my son, I said, you know, it's amazing that so many people will wake up really early in the morning to go to the gym. They will go out of their way to go to the gym. They'll, they'll wake up from their sleep to do that. They'll wake up from their sleep, right, to straighten their hair for one to two hours. I know people who do this. It is their morning beauty routine to wake up super early so that they get their hot, whatever, you know, their ironing, their, um, what is it called? I totally forgot now. Their flat iron, thank you. Their flat iron ready, and then get their makeup ready. You gotta, of course, shower and do all that. But there's all this beautification, but they won't pray. They don't pray to Allah. They don't, they, they, they just don't pray. So this is where we have it backwards. So the point again is we are permitted to beautify ourselves, but priority has to be inward beautification, character development, making sure we're ridding ourselves of the diseases of the heart, making sure we're learning and studying the seerah of the Prophet and the Sunnah of the Prophet and implementing that, being people who embody as much as we are able to uh, the, the Quranic, uh, you know, the, the Quran in our, in our words, in our actions. That's real beautification.